everyone, it's Tuesday, March 12th, and the title for today is Drying Up the Euphrates River. But before we begin, let us have our 777 prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that you love us, we know that you protect us, and all these things coming to in the end of times, you're going to be there with us, making sure that nothing happens to us. So we thank you for that in advance, and we thank you for being able to study your lesson and for being having the opportunity to change what we do and follow you. In your name we pray. In the Old Testament, the Euphrates was a critical means of support for Israel's enemies, Assyria and Babylon. The river flowed through Babylon and was important to the city because it nourished crops and provided water for people. Babylon could not survive without the Euphrates. Revelation 17.1 describes the end-time Babylon as sitting upon many waters, perhaps a reference to the Euphrates. Revelation 17.15 explains that the waters upon which end-time Babylon sits represents people who support it, the worldwide civil, secular, and political powers behind the system. However, these powers eventually will retract their support. The scenes of the six plagues reflect the capture of ancient Babylon by Cyrus the Persian. According to the ancient history, Herodotus, on the night that King Belshazzar and his officials had a feast, the Persians diverted the Euphrates and entered Babylon along the riverbed, taking the city by surprise. The symbolic drying up of the Euphrates in Revelation 16:12 results in a collapse of Babylon in the end time. Because the Euphrates in Revelation rep represents the world's civil, secular, and political powers giving their support to Babylon, their drying up of the Euphrates symbolizes the withdrawal of their support and their subsequent attack against Babylon, thereby causing its downfall. As people of the world witness the upheaval in nature, they turn to Babylon for protection. However, as the fifth plague strikes the seat of Babylon's authority, they see a futility of seeking help there. Feeling deceived, they turn against Babylon, causing her downfall. As we have seen, their hearts remain hard against God and His people. As such, they become fertile soil for the final deception by which Satan will draw the world to unite against God's people to wipe them off the face of the earth. In what ways have you learned how risky it is to place your trust in humans and in human instruction? Please answer in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already and subscribe also and share this video with others. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a great evening.